Have you ever heard that consulting actuaries make more money? Well, that actually might be true. In this video, we're gonna break down exactly what consulting actuaries do so that you have a really good understanding of that. Plus, you're also going to discover why consulting actuaries might make more than their equally qualified peers. Okay. Let's get into this video. Three, two, one, go. Okay, so consulting actuary is a term that maybe not every future actuary knows what it really means yet. So let me explain it with a metaphor. Now, if you own a car, then if you have something wrong with your car and you don't really know how to fix it, then you're probably going to take your car to a mechanic. If you have a very dirty car and you need it cleaned, yes, that is always my car, very dirty inside, you would take it to a car detailer to get it cleaned. If you want to buy a new car, then you would probably go to a car dealership where you could get advice and insight into what is the best car for you. So just like you may not know everything about your car and how to fix it and maybe you don't have time to look after it all the time, well insurance companies run into the same problem with their actuarial team. Sometimes they're just projects that need to be completed that they either don't have enough resources for so they don't have enough actuaries on hand in order to complete that project in the amount of time it needs to be completed in or maybe they don't have actuaries that really have an in-depth knowledge of the top of that project. So in those circumstances, they're kind of lost. They need help. So that's where actuarial consulting firms come in. And this is really where consulting actuaries work. Now, if the insurance company just didn't have enough resources or actuaries in order to work on the project, then the consulting firm could just supply them with some actuaries and they'd be able to help with the project. Or maybe the insurance company actuaries don't have enough knowledge of the topic. Well, the consulting company would make sure to provide them with actuaries that have some knowledge and experience in the area that they're trying to work in. And that would allow them to provide advice and insight into really what the insurance company needs to do. I guess you can kind of think of it like renting an actuary. Have you ever heard of rent-a-cops where you can kind of rent a cop for a day or something like that? Well, in this situation, it's kind of like renting an actuary. The insurance company gets to use them to complete projects that they really need help on. So now you might be wondering what are some of the things that a consulting actuary might be working on. And really, it is fairly similar to what a traditional actuary actuary would be working on in an insurance company. However, since actuaries in a consulting firm are working with so many different insurance companies and often working on different types of projects, they tend to work on a lot of different types of projects and they get involved in many different areas of an insurance company. So many members of our actuary accelerator community aspire to work for an actuary consulting firm called Deloitte. So I looked on their website at some of the services they offer. So it's really things like modeling and implementation and validation. So those are things that you typically could work on in an insurance company, but you might also work on them in a consulting role. Um, you might work on things like predictive modeling. You might come up with some retirement solutions or compensation strategies. You might work in fraud prevention or internal or external audits. You might be just involved with peer review. See, really, actuary consulting firms are able to help with so many different things, and it's a really great resource for an insurance company to have when they only have a limited number of actuaries with a potential limited amount of knowledge. The actuary consulting firms really open up what they are able to do. Okay, so now that you know and understand what an actuarial consultant does or a consulting actuary does, you might be wondering why they get paid more. And the truth is that they don't necessarily get more, but we do find that most of the time they do get paid more. And there's a variety of reasons for that. So one of those reasons is because they have such a wide range of knowledge. Since they are working on so many different projects for different companies, they really get exposure to a lot of different actuaries actuarial concepts and terminology very early on in their actuarial career and as they're working in the consulting company. Imagine being able to work for company A, company B, company C, company D and really getting experience and understanding of how their companies work. Well, that knowledge all comes together into one person, which really makes them a valuable part of the consulting firm and means that they deserve to get paid more because they have such a wide range of knowledge. Another reason that these types of actuaries tend to get paid more is because they often work longer hours. So as a consulting actuary, you're working with clients, which are insurance companies typically. And insurance companies often have quick timelines that they want to get things done in. So that means that the actuary consultants have to work longer hours in order to be able to meet the demands of the insurance company and their deadlines. So as a consulting actuary, that might mean that you're typically working beyond a 40 hour work week. And sometimes it go 
goes 60 hours a week, sometimes 70 or 80 hours a week. It really depends on the company that you're working for and a lot of the time the season. There are more seasons where insurance companies and the actuarial team in particular are more busy. So in those types of times, you might find that you're more busy in the consulting firm too because the insurance companies need more time and they pass it on to the actuarial consulting firm. Another reason that consulting actuaries tend to get paid more is because they often do quite a bit of traveling. So as a consulting actuary, you might have to actually visit the clients or the insurance companies that you're working for and possibly become a member of their team for a few months or maybe a year or so. Sometimes that happens because projects can extend for very long periods of time. So if you have to potentially move or travel to another city in order to complete the project, well, typically that means that you'll get paid more because they are expecting you to travel and be away from your family or your residence, that sort of thing. Now, because of these factors, I 100% agree that consulting actuaries should be paid more than your traditional actuary working in an insurance company, but there are some people that feel differently. Some people feel that longer hours doesn't necessarily mean that you should get paid more. If someone can get more done in the same amount of time, then that person should be paid more. Some people also feel like traveling is actually a perk to a job. It's not something that you should get paid more for. And also some people feel like someone that is more specialized in a specific section of actuarial work, they should get paid more than someone that has a broad range of a whole bunch of different stuff in the actuarial field. So there really are varying opinions on this, whether you should get paid more or less as a consulting actuary. Please let me know what you think down below in the comments. I'm really interested to know your thoughts on that. And now, in the actuarial field, there tends to be a lot of competition for these consulting positions because a lot of people like the fact that they're going to be a higher level of pay typically. They like the fact that you're gonna to get to travel, that sort of thing. So if you are interested in this type of work, what can you do in order to really improve your chances of getting one of those jobs? Well, in so many of my other videos, I talk about becoming a top candidate and that is definitely important, but there are some other things you can do to even go above and beyond even further. Now, in a consulting position, one of the most important important things is going to be your ability to communicate. This is really important in all actuarial positions, but I feel that in a consulting position, it's even more important because you are really going to be communicating back and forth with clients. The consulting firm wants to make sure that they have a good reputation and are able to communicate well with their clients without having someone constantly have to review work and emails and all that sort of stuff. They want to have confidence that you, as the consulting actuary, is going to be able to confidently and accurately communicate with the clients. So communication is a huge part and also as a consulting actuary you might find that you're doing more presentations than you would in a traditional actuarial role and that's because when you do projects for a client you often have to present your work and everything that you've done to the insurance company that has hired you so that they have a full understanding of everything that you've done and how everything works on the back end. So if you are a member of the actuary accelerator community make sure you go check out the intermediate phase of your actuarial journey that intermediate phase section of the AAC and in there you're going to find where you can do presentations for other members of the actuary accelerator community so that you can get some really good experience in doing that and practice and it's also something that you can add to your resume if you want to get into a consulting position. Another thing that would be extremely beneficial going into a consulting role is having a really good understanding of actuarial terms and concepts. Since you will be going into a consulting firm where you don't really know what kind of projects are going to come your way it's really good to have a deep understanding of actuarial terms and concepts so that no matter what kind of projects you end up working on, you already have that foundational understanding of all the terminology and concepts that will be used in that project. So again, if you are a member of the AAC, head to the intermediate phase again. And in there, we have a whole library of actuarial terms and concepts where you can really get a good understanding of a lot of the most common actuarial terms and concepts that you will be using in consulting roles, but really in any actuarial role. Okay, so my mission is really to help future actuaries like you get into jobs that you absolutely love. I think that's the most important thing about a career is making sure that you absolutely love going to work every day. So if you are someone that is maybe considering being a consulting actuary, then I do want to just warn you about one thing. The hours do tend to be very long. Now, it definitely depends on the company that you work for, but a lot of these consulting firms are expecting you to be working long hours in order to meet the deadlines and the demands of the clients. So if you are someone that doesn't want to be 
working in the evenings, someone that maybe doesn't want to work on the weekends ever, you just want that kind of nine to five lifestyle, then the actuary consulting field might not be the best area for you to get into. It usually tends to attract people that are single, maybe that don't have families because they are able to work longer hours. For people that do have families and want to be home at night, it doesn't always make the best position to get into. But however, if you are someone that has a lot of time now and you want to be really developing your career and working a lot, but you think that later you might not want to, that is totally fine as well. It is easy to transition out of the consulting field if you want to get into more of a traditional actuary job that is going to be 100% possible. I just want to put that out there so that you are all getting into positions that you really love. Okay, that is all for now. I will see you next week on Tuesday. Bye for now.